the next time we're uh, type of problem we're going to talk about are what I call tricky problems. They're not really tricky per se. They're really easy usually. You just have to think about what the question is asking you. There's always some uh, weird thing in the question, so be careful when you have this type. Number 34. And the practice book is a tricky question, but it's not really tricky. Um, here's the average price of a movie ticket. Uh, you should ask, by the way, what this says. What's this? It's average price in dollars. What's this? The number of years since 1969. If the trend continues, what is the best prediction of the average price of a movie ticket in 2024? The thing is, this says number of years since 1969. What is very pro uh, possible for you to do is to go up to look for 24, look right in here and run your finger up and get the wrong answer. It says uh, price in 2024, but this is since 1969. So the first thing you're going to have to do is figure out how far away 2024 is from 1969, which you can do just like this. It's 55 years. So you're going to consider that it's going up here, and then it'll probably be another one. So this will give you 45, 50, and 55 somewhere in here find a line that's close to what the middle would be, somewhere like in this vicinity, maybe. That's pretty reasonable. It starts to pop up just a little bit, so soon somewhere over in this range. That's not that far above eight, or seven, I should say. Each one of these represents a half. Um, it's definitely not $4.20. That's if you messed up and picked 24. 690, it's not going down, it's going up. 8.85. 10.95 would be way, way up here, and you're not going there. So the only parts that were tricky about that are, uh, the only part that's really tricky is to remember that this is year since 69, so you have to do a little bit of subtraction. Other than that, that question is actually really, really easy to get correct. A and then remember to use your calculator as a tool, not just for number crunching. Uh, 49 is the next one. Also a really easy question. We just didn't do very many of them. All you're going to do is look on the top and bottom, cancel out things you have in common. For regular numbers, you just make them into a fraction. So 3 over 12 gives me 1 over 4 right there. So that means my problem is going to have a 4 on the bottom. It might even have a 1 on top, but it doesn't. You're going to look at the x's, 6 and 3. See if I can bring this in a little closer to where it's visible, but see if I can focus it at that distance. Not really. Oh, well. Here it is. It's 6 and 3. 6 minus 3 would give you 3. And since the 6 is on top and it's bigger, x to the third power. For this one, the 2 and the 4, combine them. 4 is bigger than 2 by 2, so y to the second power on the bottom. And 9 and 3. 9 is definitely bigger than 3, and 9 minus 3 is 6. So z to the 6 goes on top. Here it is, right here. Very simple. It all matches up perfect. It's not really tricky. It's just I didn't know really where to put that type of question, so threw it in there. The problem that you're going to do, right here. The graph shows the growth of the population of a city since 1940. What best describes the population for the year 2000? What best, best describes the population for the year 2000? And if I remember correctly, this one's kind of close, so remember to use your calculator as a tool. Good luck.